but the Micronesia Area Research Center is celebrating its 50th anniversary. And joining me in studio to talk about some of the events that are planned to commemorate the anniversary is my dear friend Arlene Steffi. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Now I understand you are the chair of the seminar series. Tell yes. us about what we can expect. Well, the seminar series was implemented to promote Micronesian Studies program. Mm -hmm. And um, in that spirit, we hope to have uh, speakers provide lectures of Micronesian-centric topics. Mm -hmm. So we're kicking off the series 2017-2018 with uh, President Robert Underwood, and he will be talking about the 50 years, uh, kind of a looking back uh, going forward uh, theme, and uh, about research. And, and of course, Robert Underwood is no stranger to research, so this is <laughs> something he can, he can do really well. And then in, uh, in October, we have a visiting scholar from Bern University in Switzerland. Wow. And this is her second time here, or maybe even her third time mm -hmm. to Guam. And she's studying um, the unique way that Chamorros speak English, uh, post-colonial English uh, speakers. And it's interesting because when I was with her at King's, you know, I, I hear people speak all the time, you do too, and we know exactly what they're saying. So we're not um, paying a whole lot of attention to how they enunciate words or yeah. pronounce it or whether they're finishing the whole word or not, or how they raise their vowels or lower their vowels. And it's really interesting to sit with, an, with a linguist who's studying that and catch all that. And so uh, in, our, in our just short uh, time together, I was able to pick out <laughs> how we say things differently. Mm -hmm. and. I thought that was pretty fascinating, so I'm looking forward to, to her talk. And then we're going to honor uh, Judy Flores because in November, Judy is the first graduate of the program. And so Judy, you know, has gone on from her master's to her PhD, and she's done a lot of work in cultural um, matters. And I, I love Judy. I've, I've always supported Judy's work. Um, she may be Caucasian, but she, you know, she's got a Chamorro heart, right? Yeah, you know what that's like. Yeah. You come to Guam, she's not only a transplant, she grew roots here and mm -hmm. she, she's become a florist. She's part of our family. Her, her, her husband is my uncle from my mom's side. But Judy, Judy is just so pro mm -hmm. Chamorro culture, pro Chamorro history, pro everything. And so I'm really happy. And I called her up and she was in, in Saipan at the uh, conference and I said, could you speak in November? She's, I'd be honored, you know? So she's gonna speak in November. I am uh, now waiting for confirmation for the December speaker, and then we will roll through from January through May, and I probably will take up the, the May portion of it and end, this, end the seminar series. So, you know, Mark is celebrating its uh celebrating 50 years. How have you seen, I guess, the program grow or expand over the years? Well, the, I, I don't have um, a, a direct uh, connection with the Micronesian Studies program, but I know that the program has developed because we have many graduates since then. Um, and of course, we they've they've gone off island to many of them have gone off island to get uh, their PhDs. But I think more importantly is the fact that the Mark Research Center mm -hmm. still has a very commanding position and still has uh, uh, developing its purpose. It is a research center. Everything that I've worked on, Brie, for mm -hmm. the past, you know, since 2004, um, has, uh, my research has all come from, from Mark in addition to the actual interviews that I've conducted. There is very little research that I've needed to go off island or to another uh, library, not even the Kennedy Library. Everything that I need for what I've done is right there at Mark. And so I'm real big on the Mark Research Library. Um, I go down there, I, I've worked on 1800s uh, Spanish documents. I've gone back to look at the, the work that other researchers have done when it comes to genealogy. I'm not a genealogist, but that somehow enters my work when I'm working on an ethnographic report. And I just finished one for a really large family on Guam. Uh, working on the transition construction from Mampostria in the Spanish period to the concrete in the American period. And that was a very fascinating ride. And all the material that I needed to supplement the report was at Mark. So people really need to take advantage of that, um, that resource center mm -hmm. because it, it, it has a purpose and it still meets that purpose all these 50 years later. Mm -hmm. And there's so much more to be able to do mm -hmm. research about Micronesia. 
many more things to discover. And as, as you mentioned earlier, um, Dr. Underwood will be talking about the past and looking toward the future. Um, real quickly, the dates and time um, for the... Okay, every, every month it'll be a different Tuesday, but it will be the second or third primarily. We're trying to put it in the second and third just for continuity and consistency. But we will do it. We will arrange it based on the, uh, the lecturer's uh, availability. So uh, Dr. Underwood will speak on the 12th. Okay. at 6.30. The seminar series will start at 6.30 on time. And, um, and it will be on only on a Tuesday. So we will announce it in advance. And of course, you've agreed to help us by promoting it, yes, being there every time we do it. And yes. then we will be uh, recording the entirety and then putting it up on YouTube for our people in the States or anybody who wants to watch it, really. Even in Palau, they want to they wanna be part of it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Arlene. My pleasure. Always good to see you. Thank you for having me. Stay tuned. We're back with more after this.